Hey everybody, hope all is well. So let's take a look at this clip. Uh, there's there's actually two, so I'm gonna do this. Uh, it's gonna be a part A and part B. Let's take a look at these two videos. This is a video that I did last year at the beginning on Black Rob. And here we have the angry biracial. So listen to what he's saying. I mean, it's, it's, the, it's the truth. And let's discuss the commonality. So this is going to be part A, okay? So here's the angry biracial. And let me guess, this is daddy. Here we go. Hey, what's cracking TikTok? It's your angry biracial. This was going to be a little bit more candid, a little, a little bit more personal. See this man? That was my father. This was the only time I had a live call with him. And he was already brain dead. The only thing keeping him alive was those machines. Because I am a bastard son of a bastard son of a bastard son. A generational curse that seems to plague black men. A curse of them not taking care of their seeds. A curse of passing bastardness. Of, of passing lying and manipulating and womanizing on and on and on and on. Of making broken home after broken home. I found this man in 2011. And the only reason why I don't carry his name, his last name is Tuggle. I don't carry his name because he told my mother his pimp name. His pimp name was Macbeth, right? That was a pimp name. And he did that to, to avoid child support, to avoid accountability of his fucking seed. So yeah, I'm angry. I've been angry. Because all I ever wanted in my entire life was to meet the black side of me. And sometimes I think I'd be better off if I didn't have a black father. If I didn't have, if I wasn't cursed with being the seed of, of, of black males who, who are so used to not taking care of their seeds. Used to abandoning their seeds. Luckily, I was able to break that curse my sons are not bastard sons. My sons have their biracial father in their lives. But a lot of my fathers ask me, why are you so angry? This is why I'm angry. Because I am the son of a black man who was also the son of a black man who didn't give a fuck about the homes he broke. He didn't care about the women they broke. He broke my mother. It seems wherever black men go, they are breaking the, the women that they go to. They're leaving bastard seeds. And that's why these passport bros, when they're talking about going overseas, it's not going to be long until those countries catch on to leave a bunch of half black bastard kids in their countries. They don't want that over there. It's not going to be long until, you know, another passport bro is being executed this is like they do doing in china you know you got to be more responsible or else 30 years later you have another bastard seed like myself calling you on your shit wow now remember the video i did on black rob i'm just going to play this part part a and then we'll get to part b the commentary. What did he say about the child support? Stage one, man. Uh, you keep it tall, tall with you. Right, right. Child support. It, it had you under pressure. I'm still under pressure, man. You know what I'm saying? It might, seem, it might not seem like right. you're under, it's under pressure. Right. But I need help, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? I, you, know, you know, I get money. Right. Yeah, that's, everybody know that. Child support be slaying me, man. Right, 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 right. I can't even live my life, man. Right. I can't even live my life, man. I'm supposed to be popping. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> what, what did he say? Support be slaying me, man. Right, 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 right. I can't even live my life, man. Right. I can't even live my life, man. I'm supposed to be popping. Supposed to be popping. 
Okay, people, this is part A. Let's stick around for part B. Commentary. Mm, mm, mm.